All right, this is a little video about bipolar transistors and how to use them as switches. And we're gonna talk a little bit about, about the difference between a NPN and PNP transistors and how they're used. So a transistor has three terminals. A bipolar transistor's terminals are called base, collector, and emitter. And this is the symbol for a NPN transistor. A PNP transistor, uh, the arrow is reversed. Other than that, the symbol looks pretty much the same. Now, the base is a special terminal current flowing into the base of an NPN transistor uh, turns the transistor on. And the transistor is a current multiplier. So however much current is flowing into the base, uh, that current will be multiplied um, in the output of the transistor. Now in an NPN transistor, current flows typically from the base to the emitter in a switching uh, configuration. So in a conventional current flow, current flows from positive to negative. And here we have a battery or a voltage source, positive terminals up here. If this switch is closed, current will flow through this resistor and into the base of the transistor. And to form a complete circuit, it will flow through this arrow and out the emitter back to the negative terminal of the battery. So this is really our control circuit here, this loop. And current flows in this direction when the switch is closed. Now when current is flowing from the base to the emitter, the transistor is turned on. And this has a switch effect. Basically, it's as if a switch closes and the collector becomes connected to the emitter. Like there was a jumper wire between collector and emitter. That's what happens when the transistor is turned on. When we stop the current flow into the base, the transistor turns off and this imaginary jumper wire between the collector and the emitter disappears and it's an open circuit. So let's assume that the switch is closed, a small current is flowing into the base, and the transistor is switched on. Because it's switched on, it's, it's as if there is an imaginary jumper between the collector and the emitter. So now we have another current path from the positive terminal of the battery, through this resistor, through the LED, into the collector of the transistor, and because it's switched on, the collector is shunted to the emitter, and current flows out the emitter back to the negative terminal of the battery. So we have a small circuit turning the transistor on with a small current, and we have another circuit, a larger circuit, that lights the LED. And the switch that interrupts that current path is the transistor between the collector and the emitter terminals. NPN transistors are very common, and they're almost always used um, as switches with this type of configuration where the emitter is really connected to your ground, your negative uh, voltage supply, and that's usually the common terminal in the circuit. So it's a, it's a common point of reference for voltage, and uh, we usually consider the ground reference to be zero volts. And everything is measured relative to that. So maybe a, a very small current is necessary to turn on the base, to turn on the transistor. We use this resistor here to limit the current through the base. It doesn't take much, and we don't want to put a lot in because we don't want to burn out the transistor. So uh, depending on your supply voltage, maybe if this was a 5 volt supply, we might use um, anything from like maybe a 1 kilo ohm to a 10 kilo ohm resistor here to limit the current to the base. And it only takes a small amount of current to turn on a small signal transistor. Once the transistor is turned on, a larger current will, will be able to flow from the collector to the emitter, and we can use that to light an LED, perhaps activate a relay, turn on a motor, something like that. And to protect the LED, we have another resistor up here which limits current to the LED. In a 5-volt circuit, eh, this might be maybe 470 ohms, something like that. We run, typically run about 10 to 20 milliamps through an LED uh, to light it up brightly. Let's take a look at PNP transistor. Now, in a PNP transistor, I've, uh, I've drawn this uh, kind of upside down with the emitter on the top. Now, that's just to make our overall circuit uh, more similar to the other one for comparison. In a PNP transistor, the function is exactly the same. The base is the control lead, and when the transistor is on, it's as, it's as if there is a, a jumper uh, between collector and emitter, and the current is shunted between those two like a closed switch. The difference with a PNP transistor 
is we use a current flowing out of the base to turn the transistor on instead of a current flowing into the base. So in a, P in a NPN, current flows into the base, so we use a positive voltage here relative to a negative voltage here to cause a current to flow from the base to the emitter, and that turns the transistor on. In a PNP transistor, we use a negative voltage at the base relative to a positive voltage at the emitter, and uh, current flows this direction to turn the transistor on. Now the actual voltages don't really matter, it's only relative. As long as the voltage at the emitter is higher than the voltage at the base, current will flow from emitter to base and turn the transistor on. Remember, in bipolar transistors, it's current flow that matters, not voltage. As long as we can get a current to flow from the emitter to the base, this transistor will turn on, and the collector and the emitter will be connected together internally, and a larger current can flow. So let's take a look at the operation of this circuit. Here again, we have a common ground of zero volts, which is connected to the negative lead of our battery, the same as before. We also have a positive lead coming from the battery, going through the transistor, and if it was on, the emitter and the collector would be shunted together, and current from the positive side of the battery would be able to flow through this LED, through the current limiting resistor, and light the LED. But no current will flow unless the transistor is turned on, and for that we need a positive current flow into the emitter and out of the base, the opposite of an NPN transistor. When this switch is closed, positive current from the battery will flow into the emitter, and because there's a, a, a complete circuit here, current will flow out of the base through this current limiting resistor and through the switch back to our battery. So this, this loop up at the top here is our low current control loop, and when the transistor is turned on, we have a much larger loop around the entire circuit. This is the power loop that lights our LED. These two circuits are very, very similar. The difference is that with the NPN transistor, we're connecting the LED to the battery's negative terminal. The switch is on the negative side. In the PNP transistor, the uh, LED stays connected to the negative terminal at all times, and we're switching the positive side of the battery to the LED. So the switch is on the positive side of the LED. NPN and PNP transistors are complementary. They can be used in different situations. Sometimes you want to switch the negative terminal, sometimes you want to switch the positive terminal. And you can find parts with very similar specifications regarding voltage and current handling capabilities. Uh, NPN transistors are more common, and that's because when we design circuits, a lot of times it's convenient to have the emitter tied to ground so that our control signal is always relative to ground. So they're a lot more common, and there's a lot more NPN devices out there. But PNP transistors are also available, and you can find them if you look, with very similar specifications. The difference is the control signal here, the voltage, to turn this transistor on has to be lower than the emitter instead of higher than the emitter. So the emitter really becomes the common reference for the control signal. And in this case, if we had a 5-volt battery, uh, the emitter would always be at a 5-volt level, and we would have to take the base voltage lower than 5 volts in order to turn this on. So it's a, it's a different kind of reference where our control signal has to be lower than 5 volts to turn this on, but over here the control signal simply has to be higher than ground, which is 0 volts. So there's the difference between the two types of transistors. I hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments.